Hello, I'm Kevin Hatfield. I'm a family physician with the Poly Clinic, and this video that we're about to show you is about how to do a testosterone or any injection subcutaneously in the abdominal fat or any other area where there's enough fat on the body. We'll be showing two different sections. There will be the first section where we introduce the materials that will be involved, and then the second will actually be the procedure itself. Hopefully this training video will give you more comfort with the actual steps that are involved in a visual sense and you can then do this at home comfortably on your own. So on the table here we've got different formulations of testosterone cypionate and it comes in different size bottles. The boxes, it's important to note, are all the same size. So when you receive it at the pharmacy, it's important to note what you're going to be getting. A small bottle like this might be enough to last for one month and a large bottle like this might be enough to last for up to four to six months, depending on how much you're going to be injecting. The other important thing to note is the actual strength is 200 milligrams per milliliter and there is a variety that's available that's 100 milligrams per milliliter and that may or may not be what you get. Typically we do the more concentrated variety because that lets us inject less volume. In addition, the formulation says on the box that it should be used for intramuscular injection only and that is the case. That's the way that it was approved on the FDA's first approval but now we actually know that it's equivalent if we do it subcutaneously which is what we're going to be teaching you to do on this video. So here we are, we're going to be talking about the different supplies that you need to do an injection at home and I've laid everything out here on the table and we'll just kind of describe what's here and what we're using and the logic behind why we're choosing what we're choosing. So the first thing is a band-aid, you'll need that after you're done, so just to bear that in mind. Sometimes you'll have a little bit of bleeding, sometimes you won't, but it's always nice to have a band-aid close by. The other thing would be alcohol swabs and we've got six here on the table. Um, three are going to be for wiping the top of the bottle and three are going to be for wiping your skin before you do the injection. Second we've got the syringe and the syringes that I specify for the patients that I have typically are one milliliter syringes just like this one and they have a threaded top which is incredibly important because we like the needles to actually thread onto the end of the syringe so that when you're doing the injection the needle doesn't pop off. If your pharmacist tries to give you a syringe without the threaded end you should politely decline and insist that they give you the kind that your doctor has ordered which hopefully is specifying the threads. Um, the two different size needles that we use, typically it's a 25 gauge, 5 8 inch needle, pretty small right there. This is a safety needle, which is what we have to use here in the office, and the ones that you get at home will look different. Uh, they'll be a lot smaller, which is nice, but that is the size that's going to be used to go through the skin. And then the other needle that we're going to use to just get medicine into the syringe itself is a much larger needle. It's an 18 gauge, 1 inch needle, and there it is there. When you get your needles from the... Um, pharmacy they probably will be wrapped in a little bit of paper like this and it'll be much smaller in appearance you can kind of see the difference in size between those two you know so there it is and of course we have the testosterone over here for the injection today we're going to be drawing it up with this very tiny bottle and when we do the injection you know this is what we're going to be using so just to kind of show you that so that's here on the table ready to go